Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So people keep asking me time and time again, I even had someone ask me this in a restaurant with a vegan meetup that I did last night. And that is, do I think that Dr. Noon Amara is on steroids and is a bit of a scam artist? And I've actually been going through this own thought process for me personally, just recently in the last week or two. And the reason why I started to think this myself, well contemplating this should I say, because I wasn't 100% certain, I wasn't 100% not certain either with what I'm talking about in this video. So yeah, I have been trying to increase my muscle mass with one meal a day for months and months and months because when I did my year transformation and if you haven't seen that I put a link for up above where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle whilst doing calisthenics and went from super skinny to being super shredded and having quite well rounded muscle development is that after I got to a certain point of around 70 kilos of weight I found that I could not increase my muscle mass even with increasing the intensity of my workouts and adding bodybuilding in with calisthenics. So I started to question that, yeah, maybe one meal a day isn't the best for maximizing muscle growth. And if you look at Dr. Noon Arman Ra here, he has way more muscle mass than me. So this is why a lot of people think that he is a scam artist or he is lying and taking steroids because he says he eats around 1,200 calories of one meal a day and if I remember correctly he said that he'd done this for around 10 years and he actually has the world record for deadlift for his weight class in America as you can see in this video and as you can see he is lifting a lot of weight so he is very very strong he's obviously been training for a very long period of time but yeah he looks like he could be using steroids more so because of the way his physique looks and there is a lot of people out there that do take steroids that I'm aware of in the fitness industry and also a lot of these fitness Instagram models and YouTube fitness stars so to speak that are using steroids that have a very similar body type to him. But what I also have to say at the same time is I know people that are on steroids that have a very similar physique to me and they're on them. So a lot of people have a lot of misconception around steroids a lot of people think if you take steroids you're gonna get really really big such as kai green or even someone such as phil heath which you can see in these photos but it depends what steroids you're taking how much you're taking and how often you're taking if you're taking trebnolone or deca these ones are known to give you the most muscle mass possible but if you're taking steroids such as winstrol then it's not going to give you as greater muscle building benefits and the reason why I know about this is I did so much research on this subject in the past because it's something that really really interests me about how it works and at one point I was going to take steroids show people what you can achieve naturally or not and talk about that in a video that I will put a link for up above but I did decide not to do that due to certain reasons specifically because yeah it's really not something that is good for your health and I'm someone that cares about my health massively and if you want to learn about that in more details fully of why I did not choose to take them then I'll put a link to that video up above and you can check that out. So is he taking steroids or not? Maybe, maybe not. And if he isn't, maybe he took them in the past before he got into one meal day and all the things he's into now because I've heard from people that if you've taken steroids in the past that the use of those steroids even when you haven't taken them for years and years and years it has done some permanent alterations within your body so for example say you had two people the exact same body weight the exact same age and everything was exactly the same and you had someone out of those two that had not ever taken steroids and you had some that had years and years ago and they did the exact same training routine on a regular basis from what I'm aware of the person that taken steroids before even though they're not taking it now is going to get greater muscle development benefits so that is just something that I wanted to make people aware of because I didn't used to know this and it definitely makes some sense to me but yeah we're not going to ever know unless you get some testing done then yeah all it's going to be is our own opinions on whether he is taking them or not 
And for me personally, I don't care. If he's taking them, he's taking them. I didn't manage to get the results that I've wanted to with my body and one meal a day. I'm maximizing my muscle mass as much as I possibly can. So that's why I've now switched to doing the 16, eight intermittent fasting diet where I fast for around eight hours. I mean 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window and I eat so many different meals throughout that period. It's not just two meals a day, it's normally three, four or five. And I talk about that more in a video where, yeah, I explain fully my transition from one meal a day to multiple meals a day and what's going on with that. So if you haven't seen that, I put a link for that up above. And for me personally, I've found since I've done that, I've started rapidly gaining a lot more muscle mass and overall body weight. So yeah, just within like a week period, I noticed these significant gains. So yeah, it's working a lot more effectively for me and giving me the benefits that I want to with my physique. So I would carry on doing this. And yeah, the last thing I mentioned is, is he a scam? Is he lying? Is he actually eating one meal a day? Is he eating around 1,200 calories? Again, maybe, maybe not. And we're never gonna know unless someone gets to be in his life and put some security cameras in his house and follow him around to see what he's up to. Then yeah, how are we ever going to no, but what I can say is I was eating around three to four thousand calories a day with one meal a day for around seven months and I could nowhere near get the amount of muscle development that he has managed to get to but he's obviously been training for a lot longer than me and yeah he's eating only around a thousand two hundred calories a day and it is a widely unknown and this is proven through scientific research when you have a more muscle mass muscle actually uses up the most calories so the more muscle mass you have the more calories you need to fuel your muscles and actually put back in the glycogen in the muscles which is a stored form of glucose that your body calls upon when you are using your muscle mass whether it's your training or whatever you're doing that is using energy for your muscles that is required to actually give your muscles the energy that it needs to do the things that you are doing and what i can say there's so many different people that i've been aware of over the years with me being in so many different diets and healing myself through switching to a plant-based diet years ago that time and time again there's so many people that are lying about their diet and what they're actually doing and there are a lot of scammers out there and there's a lot of people that just want to promote what they have to sell but what i've said with dr noon Amon ra He's not really selling much. He has some books that you can get through donating, you can get coaching from him, but he's not selling like loads of supplements or trying to push loads of things on people or trying to spread his message as much as possible because he is what I would say very like this type of person that seems quite like an introvert. Well, not like an introvert, that is an introvert because there's hardly any interviews with him anywhere on the internet. I've tried contacting him multiple times to get an interview. He's not very present on any social media platforms or whatsoever. So he isn't like a lot of these typical like bodybuilders that have really big Instagram profiles and really big YouTube channels and all these other social media platforms that you can see are blatantly on steroids and they say to you no i'm not on steroids i'm just taking these supplements and these are the supplements that i'm taking and here they are to buy through my company so yeah i do have some sort of trust with dr noon Ra, but there's always going to be that thing in the back of my mind that's questioning is he a scam artist is he taking steroids is he doing other certain things that he's not necessarily sharing with us but like i said we're never going to know but to be honest i don't really care if he's doing it he's doing it and if we're meant to find out, we'll find out. But what I say is just try it out. See if you can get the benefits from one meal a day if you're interested in it. If you're not getting the benefits that you want to, then skip it and try something else like I am and getting the benefits that I'm now wanting to get with the diet that I'm eating and my physique. And one last thing I add is what you need to remember is at least for me, for my own personal experience, since I've been in this lovely human world, is I have met so many different African American males that have just amazing muscular development all around. And so many of them, when I have asked them, what training do you do? They tell me to do no training whatsoever. So genetics for those type of people that I just mentioned really plays a role in their physique. So that's just something to be very, very mindful of. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone that you think wants to hear about 
what I've shared with you today in this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me. And the videos you can expect to get from me on a regular basis if you subscribe is informational videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, also what I eat in a day and what I do in a day videos, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and all different types of videos to share with you so much valuable information to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desired, the fitness levels and the energy levels. And I'm hoping at the same time, these videos will inspire you and motivate you to push yourself towards those things that I've just mentioned, short term and long term. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.